I was I need it. Oh god. I was Gosh, afraid. I'm so sorry. I'm actually so bad at these things. Like Don't worry about it. I was here. I was afraid they would eat me up alive. Uh, they were like, <laughs> "Where is Jacqueline Fernandez, and why do we have to look at a funny-looking guy who can't make his hair?" So a funny-looking, me... intelligent guy. <laughs> so uh, thank you. Let me do this formally then. I am thrilled, I... and I am thrilled and enthused to have the most vivacious and fun person in Bollywood that I know. Yeah. <laughs> on behalf of everyone at Iman, yes, welcoming Jacqueline Fernandez to Kuch to Corona. So welcome, Kuch Jacqueline. Kuch to Corona. <laughs> and thank you, Jackie, for spending time and coming to talk to us. Of course, any time. Um, I think now is a time where we really need to show our solidarity, where we really need to be there for one another, and um, yeah. And I think like we just have to keep supporting and being as positive as we are, as we can possibly be for each other. So I'm so happy that you invited me on this chat. Um, and But after uh, after doing after doing my dishes and after doing my household chores, um, I had a lot of free time. So then I said, "Let me trouble somebody and try to spread some positivity." And I'm so glad that within and you've you've accepted. I'm totally with you on that. I'm totally with you on that, and I hope we have many more people as well joining this live, um, your future lives, because I think it's cool that you know, like we can kind of just discuss what's going on. I think there are a lot of people out there who are a little bit like lost. or a little bit confused um uh, i mean you know i certainly was like honestly speaking for like the first week i had no idea what to do because for the first time after a long time and this is i'm sure a lot of people's scenario as well right you're just taken out of your routine you're taken you're you're made to do something you know that's completely like alien to you um and that for me was like sitting at home and you, you know, were like You guys work twenty four by seven by three sixty five, and if I was in one, I was in one place for twenty four hours. They would have locked me out of that place for sure. But uh, <laughs> with you guys, they lock you in. Like now, suddenly, I can see all the hearts and the loves and the smiles. But tell me, but, but tell me this: you know, for a person who almost works twenty to twenty two hours normally on set, now you're sitting at home. You you. pretty much at home all the time yeah what's, what's a typical day in your life <laughs> so um i'm actually been quarantined on a farm and uh i brought wow. I, yeah wow I, yeah so it's uh now you make because... everyone feel very jealous i know no you know like honestly <laughs> what 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 had happened was um in my apartment because i'm com- i live completely alone so right. um and i couldn't have i couldn't jeopardize or risk my house help or any other assistance of mine to be coming back and forth and assisting me in any single way so i was and i i wasn't really very prepared for this to happen because for a lot of people this did kind of happen overnight and right. uh, i found myself at home with a totally unstocked fridge <laughs> uh, um like with a lot with a lot of dishes that you had to do a, after every meal trust me i wasn't even cooking because i had nothing to cook <laughs> like i had nothing to cook and no way of cooking it and so all of a sudden i was just like you know the the day before the sunday the first sunday lockdown uh a couple of my friends you know had called saying look you know this is I I don't think this is safe for you to be on your own alone and tomorrow's going to be a lockdown and we don't know how quarantine how how much longer quarantine is going to go for so why don't you go over to this farm and oh, I'm on a farm I, right I, now. I wish we had similar friends such as yours uh <laughs> <laughs> no but we so, were but we're the happiest to know that you're safe and yeah. that you're safe there is, no it really it really made me think about a lot of people out there who who were possibly also in the same situation i mean there's there's much worse things happening right now but right. there are also you know like a bunch of people out there who literally have like they're completely alone and i'm like talking like no family no 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 like no help no friends no 
complete isolation. And um, I just hope that they're okay because, you know, like I was saved because I came in literally right before the 21 day lockdown was, you know, uh, um, put, put, put in. But if I didn't make it, I would be in that apartment right now. Be, and um, you would be stranded like I yeah. am. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Are I'm, you stranded I'm, I'm too? Lucky about, Do you have your family? I have my family uh, who are, okay, who are good. Well. yes, yes. I have my family and they take uh, a lot of care of me. I put on twice the weight. Um, <gasps> yes, I have. But I would but have lost twice my weight <laughs> if I was no. like at home on my own. I would have lost I, twice I, my weight. That that's another question I want to ask you. Actually, you know, you you're a fitness freak. You are like an expert when it comes to fitness. Like all your yes. videos. Uh, what is the typical day in the life of Jacqueline Fernandez when it comes to life in the times of Corona? So okay, so basically, what's happening, and I've been adjusting to this new routine. Um, but uh, I've been waking up in the morning, and I somehow have been giving a lot more time to being even healthier. I don't even know if that's possible, <laughs> but I'm actually like, you said you're, you know, you're making me more... feel guilty now. <laughs> I know, but look, it took me some time. Like the first week of, you know, the quarantine, I was just eating mitai. I was eating a lot of sugar. I don't know why. Like I was just like, I was just eating everything and anything. And I was like not exercising. I was just like so disoriented actually. Like I just didn't know what was going on. Abhi, I am, like somehow I figured out, you know, my routine, which is really important. I, if anything, I would advise what's, people figure. What's your routine? That's what I want to know. Okay. If you so, don't mind. <laughs> so basically I am, I'm waking up in the morning and I am, the first thing I'm doing is like, I'm downing a whole liter of water with Amla, with like a little bit of Amla and Nimbu. So I'm like totally like detoxifying myself. And, um, and then after that, I grab my book. Okay, so I have like this book, which I want to finish. And I always have, I'm always surrounded by a lot of books, but I never end up reading or finishing them, right? So I have like this one, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm finishing this book. So the first thing I do is I take this book. And um, after I've done my one liter of like Amla and, you know, like- One Nimbu liter of Amla? You have one liter of Amla? No, no, no. It's like, it's like a little bit of this, Amla, you know, this liter is the of water. reason why Amlas are out of stock. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not drinking and juicing one liter of Amla because like I would be out of stock. Like, <laughs> but like I'm putting a little bit of that Amla, like an Amla in like my one liter of Pani in the morning and some Nimbu. Okay. And, um, and then I'm, I, then I'm go, I go, I make my coffee. Um, coffee banati hu, phir mein book padti hu. आप कॉफी बनाते और बाद में आप पुस्तक पढ़ते आपकी हिंदी मेरे ओ, एक घंटे के लिए एक घंटे के लिए मैं बुक पढ़ती हूँ <laughs> क्योंकि क्वारंटीन के टाइम में आई हैव टू फिनिश दिस बुक आई हैव टू क्वारंटीन खत्म होने के बाद आई खत्म होने के पहले आई हैव टू फिनिश दिस बुक सो आई एम रीडिंग आई एम मेकिंग श्योर एवरी सिंगल मॉर्निंग आई एम रीडिंग आई होप लाइक अलॉट पीपल आउट देर यूर ब्रिंगिंग आउट योर बुक्स एंड यूर रीडिंग वट एवर यू कैन बिकॉज इट्स अ ग्रेट टाइम टू रीड एंड and then uh so there are like horses here so i i go and i ride <laughs> i go and i ride horses listen, listen this is just not fair uh <laughs> this is not at all fair so you cannot be saying all these things and then after after the horse riding what do you do after the horse riding i go into the kitchen and i help out where i can because it's limited staff over here Um, now that's a relatable thing that's a relatable thing but in my case when i cook nobody eats uh i'm so sorry <laughs> but it's okay i mean like at least you try but um yeah so i go into the kitchen i help out where i can i'm i'm usually the one in charge of like the salads so i make salads for everyone and um yeah and then you know we go i i actually do quite a few online classes i'm actually doing my online hindi classes so because abhi wo newspaper name milta hai so i am getting yeah i'm not getting my nap out of times milti hai ki milta hai trick question newspaper milti hai ki milta hai ah Uh, uh, <laughs> listen if if i had to start correcting your hindi uh, is it milti is it milti 
न्यूज़पेपर नहीं मिलती है न्यूज़पेपर नहीं मिलता है मिलता है ओह व्हाई सेड दैट आई एम सॉरी आई सेड मिलता है या आई वाज जस्ट कंफ्यूजिंग यू ओह बाय द वे आई हैव अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट मेकअप शॉप आल्सो सेड इट्स मिलता है एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली राइट no but so so you you have a pretty you have, you have a pretty pack day like you you've got your day figured out start start to the end look even if i was in my apartment i would be making sure that i i'm doing as much as i can i do on my online classes i'm doing my reading i am exercising and even like my exercising it's it's honestly like stuff that i was doing at home only it was it's my surya namaskar i am practicing my handstand i'm trying to perfect that because you don't need like any equipment or space for that um there's another weird thing that i do right now and honestly because there's coconut trees here so for nariyal pani i'm learning how to climb the coconut tree <laughs> really <laughs> which is very difficult by the way listen this is um, you you are making me feel even worse about myself uh, with all the surya namaskars and now you are actually even climbing trees is yeah. there something that you can't do uh but I can't climb know, the coconut tree. <laughs> I still can't climb it. Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to be too. I'm not going to be too surprised. Two days from now, we'll see a post which is on the top of a coconut tree with drinking a coconut. Uh, I'm aiming for that. <laughs> I am definitely I aiming for that. So no, no hopefully by the end of quarantine, I I think like you know what's what's kind of been helping me is I know I have like now two weeks left for quarantine. Um, so I'm trying to like give myself as many challenges as possible so I stay productive. um so i make sure like i do one hour of work every single day and just one hour so i make sure like i get on a work call i at least i'm like figuring out like anything on the so business does account. this qualify as a work call or th- does this not qualify as a work call this is not a work call because Thanks. otherwise i'd be very offended uh. <laughs> <laughs> no this is definitely not a work call this is like this is us i think um just communicating and being there for people and uh you know uh, like just kind of i think supporting one another and i think that's really really important and that's actually the, the the fact that you mentioned you know that we're here in order to spread positivity and support yeah. people and you know that that brings me to the second and that i've always wanted to ask you mhm um uh, do you do you prefer cleaning or doing the dishes do i prefer cleaning or doing <laughs> i i think i prefer cleaning honestly i don't like doing dishes Hello? so much no i'm just i'm just joking uh but <laughs> i need but at this juncture because i have you on screen because i have you on screen we have to make a really important announcement and this is really okay. important and i'm i'm glad that you're there with us because i've just received a message from the prime minister um and no it's it's real it's real i'm not even joking um and it reads and i'm reading out a uh, 3 month lockdown announced in india uh so jacqueline we have jackie we have a 3 month lockdown that's announced in india um uh, your thoughts on this that's ridiculous you're lying no, it's, it's it's true i'm not even joking i just read the message you want to see the message the message yes. the message the message that's your message <laughs> what... Don't no, this. Uh, no. Oh my god. I just, I, I just want to capture your first reaction. If somebody actually announced that there was a 3 month lockdown. Uh would it be excitement? Would it be happiness? Would it be oh my god, I'm out. I I don't know what to do. Um I think that uh 3 month lockdown is a bit too much. And see it's not that I wouldn't know what to do with myself in 3 months time. Trust me, I think we're all survivors in our own way. We'll figure it out. But sure. um it's just But- it's so ba- it would be so bad for the economy. It'd be so bad for the world economy. It'll be so bad for so many different people who will suffer terribly. It'll be bad for a lot of, you know, different things out there. I mean So I so, and it'd be really bad for the young people out there because quite honestly and I'm so glad so many of them have joined this in order to watch this and and we're yeah. going to be sending it and and uh for for 18 and 17 and 16 year olds who are watching this and you know yeah. thankfully that would it is uh, a 21 day lockdown only and yeah. uh in for the remaining 2 weeks for a 16 year old who's watching this uh what's your advice what should they be doing 
because everyone's netflixing and chilling which is also a good thing but apart from that what would you tell your 16 or 18 year old self if you were locked down during quarantine and you were quarantined well look a 16 year old you know you guys um i mean you obviously have like some school work to do so i would say don't neglect it completely i would say literally do about an hour max okay a day of like what you have to do for school an hour or two but make sure you allocate that time and apart from that just like chill like relax have fun um you know spend spend time with like your family watch tv um cook a little bit exercise a little bit like have do fun exercises um and uh yeah i i think it's it's a it's a great time for kids it's a great time for everyone to be honest like and it's a, sh- so basically it's an early summer vacation yeah <laughs> if i were them like you know if i were them like i would the the one one response thing i would do would be i would give myself at least an hour to 2 hours to just revise all my work because you don't want to go back into it and be like oh my god like what the hell i don't know anything like i've forgotten everything or what am i doing so i think you'd kind of want to um make sure that you're still in touch with stuff clicks um yeah. but i <laughs> talking about I can't yeah, seem to find myself not like I I cannot uh like take a break for some reason. I'm a workaholic. So like for me like I'm literally working like all day like from the moment moment I wake up I'm like checking these things, checking those things, I'm reading, I'm doing script reading, I'm doing like quite a lot of, you know, like online meetings whatever wherever I can and whatever I can do. Um but guys, if I was a teenager right now, I would just be like <laughs> you'd be living it up doing cartwheels uh, i'd be doing cartwheels you'd be doing yeah. cartwheels but but tell me this one thing you know and this is this is my last question as a part of the second segment saying um tum bhi corona and that is what this segment this, this little part that i thought we'd call it we'd call it tum bhi corona tum and tum bhi corona uh, okay what can people do in this time in order to fight this menace because honestly i mean everything said and done it is something that is affecting the world it's a pandemic it's something that has 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 affected like you said the economy and so on and so forth yes It's, yeah to those to those sure. thousands of people who are watching you right now and the millions who will be watching you later uh what is it that you think that people can do in order to combat coronavirus i think the one thing that honestly is the most important thing that people can do right now is is stay at home um and, and i was and be, i was hoping you said that i was hoping yeah. and i was wishing that you said that and i and you know the, the crazy thing is like it's not a it's not a you know a big task right now to be just sitting at home and doing nothing right but it is is possibly the most effective thing that we can do to combat this virus and to really stop it in its in its tracks and um i know that there are quite a lot of people out there who are finding it difficult because maybe they have certain things to do or like mouths to feed or whatever it is um and uh, i you know i'm 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 sorry to hear that for certain people but um if you are not important to stay at home if you're not in that group um you know it's just i i find it ridiculous that i actually have seen certain people who are not from that group like I, my my sincerest like heartfelt wishes are there with those people who are really really having to go out there and and be out there and you know like to support a family or whatever it is um to help people to risk their lives to be in you know in 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 medical or to be in medicine or to be you know doctors nurses but there are certain people out there that have been seeing this who have been wandering around just because they don't want to sit at home and uh it's just like the worst thing i think i've seen like it's it's almost like why would you why would you do that why you know you, like why would you i know why, I, would, why would you risk forget it? yourself like why are you risking other people's lives like that it's, it's ridiculous your family, you know? yeah your families and people in and around and so on so forth. yeah no i completely agree but you know because you're such an animal lover i must ask you this question i saw i know this that you know you you've been associated with peter you've done such wonderful stuff uh all all these yeah. years but there's so <laughs> many stray 
there's so many stray animals who are who who go unfed um and yep. you know the government is doing their job uh, but people are also very sympathetic towards what is happening and many people many young people whom i know are very keen to make sure that you know stray animals such as you know um, the stray animals basically that you find they're the ones that are taken care of but then again it's a dangerous proposition your thoughts what can people do uh, when it when it comes to stray animals i was very torn about the fact that i was like i need to be out there and i need to be feeding these animals and i need to be doing my bit um but uh, there are a couple of amazing groups out there who have actually been commissioned to do this safely so i would say leave it for them to do and in your own way outside your building um and outside your apartment like outside your building if you can keep some food and water uh it would be an amazing initiative if we're all able to do that so that way actually we we are helping the strays um because right now there's literally no body out there for them um apart from these groups that are that are doing stuff uh, um there have been a lot of posts about them they're online you can actually donate to them they go out there they're safe um they are you know targeting the best places um but uh, if you if you really do want to do something a great thing to do is is actually place food and water out, outside your building so that the strays can get to it how thoughtful uh, no wonder it no wonder yes. tens of millions of people follow you and no wonder you are such an amazing <laughs> model for young people but but <laughs> that is the last the, the last bit of what i wanted to ask you you know um, i mm. prepared this small thing i grown up watching coffee with karan yeah just like just like all of us have so in yeah. the end I wanted to ask you some fun very light questions with your permission. Um Sure. So it's a 21 day lockdown so I've prepared 21 really quick and fast questions which you have to honestly answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Come so on guys. Let's have some fun. <laughs> so TikTok or Instagram, <laughs> your favorite your favorite platform. TikTok ya Instagram Instagram Kyunki aap abhi Instagram Instagram Abhi Instagram lekin mujhe lagta hai ki thoda der mein uh, TikTok bhi ho jayega <laughs> Mera favorite Yeah Right now it's like it's almost there Ji kya Can, can you hear me now? Hello, Jackie. Can you hear me? Jackie, yeah, can you I hear can me? Hear you. Yeah, I can hear. You. All right, lovely. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, can. I, I, I was lovely. I, I, I was uh, wondering why my face is looking so funny. I uh, realized the frame hadn't freezed. It's just my face. Uh, but um, <laughs> coming to, <laughs> but coming to the important question: Who's your, who's your favorite coaster, male to work with? Who's your male favorite coaster? Uh, favorite actor. There's... I'm sorry I'm asking you but you so, know this is I'll... you're doing this with us so it's no bollywood I'm sorry Well I mean I I have been you know a huge admirer of like literally every single person that I've worked with um so I've been very blessed to be able to work with them but one person that I worked with who was like unbelievable I would have to say is Amit ji and that was my first film ever and I worked with Amita Bachchan and he was like oh it was insane ah uh, working with him he's and, so so awesome and 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 that that is that is very true and i think he has he also introduces himself which is which is very humble and i have i've i've heard that i've learned that that whenever he meets somebody for the first time he says hi i am amita bachchan and and i think people are uh, taken aback <laughs> It's amazing. It's so amazing. Okay, so so your next question, who's your favorite female co-star to work with? Who's your favorite actor uh, to work with? Tapsi. Lovely. Tapsi was Shri one Lanka. of my favorite female co-stars to work with. Sri Lanka, She was India amazing. or Bahrain? 
so you you call, you call me intelligent for a reason yeah so we've got all the difficult questions to ask you <laughs> that is a very difficult one i mean i was i'm a you know a sri lankan national and i you know have made india my home uh which is and it's given me so much uh it's like literally made my dreams come true and but my family is in sri lanka as well and so it's you know it's strange but i actually feel like i um i belong to both places so you know i don't i don't know how else to put it but um i truly feel like you know these are like these are both my homes like between the two it's difficult i don't think anybody could have put it any better but coming yeah. to the next thing <laughs> do you like do you, do you prefer football or cricket if you were your favorite sport between football or cricket uh i From don't the facial expression i'm guessing one. that it's ni- it's <laughs> and it's it's neither football or no cricket okay no. so i'll move on <laughs> i have no interest at all i have interest in yoga acting acting for sure acting for sure because um yoga I think we should start taking some questions now It's Mesa Ankitsoni is laughing for some reason Nehal Miguel is being anwar akhtar has said hi jackie so i say hey what's up but rish maybe we should start taking some questions and seeing what people are asking ooh there's thoughtful bitches <laughs> so does anyone out there javed khan says how are you so i said i'm good Oh my god, Ananya's here. She said hi. Are we lagging? Hi Nimra. Is it opening up? Do we have enough questions? Oh no. I look late. Abhishek Mohani, why are you laughing? Hi Nimra Wahid, how are you Nimra? I hope you're good. Good to see you here. Um Great. <laughs> Jackie I think I think we've got questions. Yes, there someone says Okay, let's look at a few questions then. Lovely. So, um majority of them basically say how much they love you, which is no surprise. Uh but <laughs> but there is there is one which says what was your first thought when you heard of the lockdown? Ab Arpan Mukherjee has asked you that question. and he says what was your first thought when you when you heard of the lockdown arpan mukherjee well my first thought was um wow this is going to be really interesting okay <laughs> and yeah i was like oh this is weird but this is also kind of like interesting um i hope people are going to be okay um and uh yeah i was i was actually quite concerned about certain people but um i see that 
you know, certain things are being, you know, the government is taking some, taking some certain measures to make sure that everything is, you know, being taken care of. So, yeah. All right. Lovely. Uh, your, the next question, which is on the screen, which I don't know whether you can read it. Is what is the what hilarious are... situation you came across with your fan? Yeah. Like, which is the most hilarious situation that you've come across? And with a fan? With um... a fan. And, and, and you can't, and you can't say any story about it. Well, there's this guy called Rishab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Well, with, with a fan, I don't really know. Hilarious situation. Mm. Like, I mean, this was not hilarious, but a fan actually got his, got my name tattooed um, on himself. And he's a guy. So, it, I mean, I just wow. thought it was like, kind of like funny that like I've you know this guy had Jack being tattooed all across his neck <laughs> wow. I saw him I met him too it oh, was goodness. cute <laughs> wow <Yeah>. wow <laughs> a lot okay, of people want up? you to thank you for your question Akrisa Akraesa okay I'm gonna ask you I'm gonna take the last two questions so anybody who has mm -hmm. questions, now is a good time. The last two mm -hmm. questions. And this is... This is a nice one. What, yeah. what inspires you? And one minute, okay, actually, sir. just give me a second. Give me a second. Just give me a second. I've... So you must, must realize that I am very bad Thank in technology. Thank you, Aryan. Me too. I'm just looking at every, what everyone's saying. Ravi Sahu is laughing. What is the most lovely moment with your fan? I have so many amazing moments. I think some great times are when I went on the debunk tour. Um, and that was so much fun because we got to interact with our fans a lot. Oh, who is your celebrity crush? Crush. When, when you, you were, were a newcomer. newcomer. So, uh, this is this is one secret that you have to let out. Uh, my celebrity wait, wait. crush when I was a newcomer. Honestly, my celebrity crush when I was a new is. Uh, I think it was. I'm it's okay. You can say it. <laughs> This this is not being recorded anywhere. Uh, just a Amen. few tens of thousands of people are seeing it. It's not going to come in the press tomorrow. Uh, it just may make national headlines. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have been Salman because you know when I came here, I uh, no when I first came here, Varun was not launched. Someone just wrote Varun Dhawan, but he was not even launched yet. So um, I think it was Salman because when I was growing up as well. He was uh, one of like the, like, you know, for, for me, he was like the biggest actor. Um, so, and then, then all of a sudden, like in Bollywood and, and you know, like, and I was like, whoa, whoa, I can't believe I'm actually meeting him. But uh, yeah, it was, it was Paul. How nice, how sweet. Uh let me let me take this opportunity. You have been nothing but as probably as sweet. I don't know whether is 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 my voice going through, Jackie? Yeah, it is. I can hear you. All right, lovely. So I was just saying that you know it's been an absolute delight. Uh, I think this is this this part this session has infused a lot of positivity. Uh, yeah. When I was talking. When I was talking, people were asking why, and now people are typing in that box saying, "Please." Uh, this is the kind of positivity that people like you bring, and I'm, <laughs> I'm honestly humbled. And thank you very much for taking out time and spending some time with your fans and uh, and with one of your biggest fans. 
Uh, so it was oh, very, very nice talking to you. <laughs> thank you so much for having me on, on this. Thank you so much, me, guys. And I really let, hope let all ask, of you are safe and good. Come in. Yeah. Ja- Jackie, let yeah. Me, before you leave, let me ask you one question. This is a very, this is a personal question, but I, you said that you were scared of, you said that you were scared of glossophobia or public speaking. From the conversation that yes. of glossophobia or public speaking, I do not see any kind of stage frights or any kind of um, uh, problem when it. But to I'm not speaking on a stage, at, right? Uh, <laughs> Instagram is social media is the but, biggest stage in, in life now. Oh my god, god you've just given me anxiety. That because <laughs> I never realized that before. No, no, but I. But, I, I, I genuinely have yeah on stage and talking on stage but uh i somehow i'm i'm comfortable on instagram you know so you'd be equally comfortable on stage you must try it some day and up until then uh it's it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you so much and i think um this is not just infuse positivity to those thousands of people but when when we play this on repeat i'm sure there'll be a lot many more smiles looking at that smile thank you so much jack oh, so thank much. you so much jack thanks guys for joining the live take care love you lots bye 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 see you <laughs> see you Hello again. Uh, hello, guys. Well, first time we were unlucky. Second time we were unlucky. I think third time's the charm. Shout out to Aditya. Hi, Aditya. Hello, love from Mumbai. We are going to begin with the most awaited. Yes, it's the third time, and hopefully, third time is the charm. Uh, and hopefully, third time is the charm. We are we are just currently waiting for the person who all of- great. <clears throat> so I was afraid that.